All right, guys, so I basically just finished uh, retuning the car. The tune was basically to see what would be the difference in changing the intake manifold from the Skunk 2 to the K Miata manifold. And um, I was very curious to see because I have the bigger cams and this manifold has a bigger plenum. So Javi spent his time tuning the car, plenty of pulls, um, seeing what he could get out of it. The biggest thing here, Gio, I think has to be the weather and the exhaust. The weather is not consistent in Miami because it could be raining one second and it could be windy the next. Super humid, humidity is terrible. Here. So it's inconsistent, but the ba the basic difference between the two manifolds was marginal, if anything, or none uh, in these circumstances. And the biggest problem that Javi sees with my setup, it has to be with the exhaust. You can be breathing as much as you want, but if you ain't taking it out, it's not gonna make the power you want it to. So basically, how the Kami uh exhaust for the A2, the old A2 uh, setup, it goes down, wraps around the oil pan, then goes back, and then you got I ran it back to uh, the right side of the car. So all those points of diversions for the or evacuation for the exhaust it creates less power because of that because if you're breathing you the car can breathe all at once but like i said if it's not putting it out efficiently you're not going to make efficient power and you're not going to make peak power for what the setup is because he says it the this engine can and this setup can do 270 horsepower to 260 horsepower the biggest problem here is that the PPF on the Miatas, it prevents it from going that way, the straight way. The path of least resistance, basically for the exhaust fumes. But uh, the car feels, the. what I do notice is that the car feels a lot, the car feels a lot smoother when you try to accelerate, even with my sticky throttle, because I have uh, kind of like a sticky throttle. It does feel a lot smoother and um, it still sounds good, but I do actually prefer the sound of the Skunk 2, believe it or not. But I, overall, I am really happy with the with the Kemiata manifold, even though, um, you know, I didn't make the power I wanted, but that's due to, you know, other circumstances like the exhaust problem. It's not a problem. It's just that's how they had to run it because of all the obstructions, like the PPF and stuff. But, um, yeah, he's been telling me that since I really, I finished that swap, like, I don't know, almost three years ago. So he's been telling me that about the exhaust, the exhaust, the exhaust. And, yeah, that's, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, this is a later project because it takes money and time. So I'm going to get the... PPF delete for the transmission that V8 Roadster sells. I'm gonna get the PPF delete that came out of sells for the differential. After that, I'm gonna get the. It's like a hydraulic um, slave cylinder that they put right inside the transmission, and I think um, doing that, I'm gonna create enough room so I can run the exhaust straight back there and basically modify the collector so I can have just straight down flow. And I might even experiment with like an S2000 with S2000 headers. Maybe modify the collector as well to see if I can get more power with either or. But I'm uh, excited to do that. But for right now, it's gonna stay just like that. I'm going to the Dragon. Basically, we're leaving tomorrow night. We're gonna spend there a whole week dogging the car. So it's gonna, I'm happy and i hope to see you guys if you guys see me say hi say what's up i'm not very good with names i'm good with cars so yeah guys thanks for watching subscribe let me know what you want to want to see in the trip